guys, it's Rianne, and today I'm going to do a hair tutorial for you. Um, I basically wear my hair in small braids in the summer and the spring months because I feel like it's more bohemian and that's where my style kind of goes during the warmer months. So today I'm going to be showing you some different styles that have small braids. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. So for the first style, which is going to be two small braids along the sides of your head like this, we're first going to find our part. So what you're going to do is about an inch away from your forehead, you're just going to take a small panel of hair. And you can take as big or small a panel as you like, but since I'm trying to showcase smaller braids in this tutorial, I'm going to take a smaller piece. And I'm just going to braid that piece um, down to the bottom. And when you get to the end, you're just going to kind of push it behind the other hair that you have on the side here. So I'm just going to pull this piece up and around, and I'm just going to pin it kind of to the back side. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to try and match up where that braid was on the other side. And if you have layers like I do, this can be a little bit tricky because the top layer will be kind of short in the first place. Um, but you can definitely manipulate it because you only need it to be so long that you just show a small portion of the braid. So I'm going to take this side now and braid it up as well. And then when you get to the bottom of this braid, again, you're just going to lift kind of the hair that is next to it and pin it towards the back. And then you have two beautiful braids kind of going from each side of your head to the back. The next style I'm going to show you is one of my favorites and it's a classic. It's one of those small braids that wraps around your hair into a low ponytail. So to accomplish this look, I'm actually going to bring all of my hair to one side and I'm going to find the longest piece of hair that I can. So this is my longest piece of hair. And I'm going to throw the rest of my hair to the back for now. And I'm just going to braid up this hair really, really quickly. And once you get to the bottom of the strand, you're just going to kind of flip it around and kind of over the rest of the hair and then you're going to pull the rest of the hair and just kind of keep wrapping it around and then when you get to the back and you have only a little bit left maybe about that much um, you're going to pin it up into the ponytail itself and then you have a really nice natural ponytail The next hairstyle I'm going to do is a variation on the braided headband and actually I'm going to take it right across my um, part right here but I'm going to make it disappear into the rest of the hair on this side. So I'll show you how to do that right now. First you're going to want to gather a piece of hair that's kind of near behind your ear and of course we're going to braid this piece as well. Okay, and once you're done, you're going to bring that kind of along the top of your head. What I like to do is kind of make sure that these pieces are pushed back and out of my face. And then I'm going to pull it all the way over here, and then on this side, I'm just going to pin it underneath these hairs right here. And I really like the disappearing effect on that because I can still have this hair down, but this is kind of like pulled away out of my face, so I feel like it's more of a romantic look. <laughs> I like to wear small braids in my hair when it's the spring slash summertime. I hope this video helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!